Okay, so the next stop on our trail course tour is my box. Okay, so here we have four logs. Now, these were quite literally fence posts that were pulled out at some point and I pilfered them and put them into a square. Okay, now there's two different exercises I do off this, but please, like with everything we're showing you today, remember, these are just the exercises I use. You might think up something else that you wanna use this sort of stuff for, okay? And that is awesome. Okay, but this particular square, there's two ways I use it, okay? And both of them involve lunging. So the first one that we do, is I keep my horse moving forward, but every time I have to go past where I cross last. So if I cross those two, I have to get around and get to the next two. Okay, now you can see when I start moving now, I have to start taking bigger steps. You can actually see Bob reacts a little bit to that. Okay, and it was a bit like, when we were doing the other logs previously, I was saying, you know, horses tend to think that when, well, they get trained that when we lunge them, they don't have to move. It's just a continuous circle. Whereas I want my horses to not be worried about the fact that, you know, I might have to take some big steps to get across here. I want him to continue on as he was. And you can all see, he gets a little faster Okay, because he sort of goes, oh, I'm not real sure about you walking faster like that. But that's okay. You know, he gets there. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Now, the second thing we do with this little square is involves a lot more changes of direction. So, I'll put him through once. Now, if he goes through here, what I want him to do is I want him to change and I want him to get across to the next set of rails and then change and then get across to the next set of rails and then change, get across to the next set of rails, change, get across to the next set. Now you can break this up, you don't have to keep going. You might go around and do a loop like that and pick another square that you're going to use. Okay, so now I need to get back up to this set. Now you can see he has to be pretty light and responsive and not get wound up about things to make these. Okay, if you have a horse whose groundwork is not super well established and you start doing these kind of exercises, pretty soon they will get pretty wound up because there's a bit of pressure to make that big turn there. He has to really get on his hindquarters and get a long way across, okay? And, you know, he has to work pretty hard to do that. But that is just two exercises that we have gotten just from putting four posts that we pulled out of the fence line somewhere in a square. It's pretty simple.